Asyadu alla ilaha illallah wa asyadu anna muhammadan rasulullah. 안녕하세요. 제이킴입니다. 아. 다우드 킴입니다. 다우드 킴. 다우드 킴. First of all, I got so many congratulations. 아, 정말 감사합니다. I got a lot of questions and 80% of questions were why did you become a Muslim? Today, I want to answer this. My converting is 아니고 reverting story. Okay, then here we go. How I became a Muslim without Kim? Uh, unfortunately, my first memory of Islam was 911. At that time, I was really young, like 8 years old. I watched a huge building collapse on TV. I was really shocked. And that time, I heard the word Islam on TV. So that was the first time I heard the word Islam. I don't know well, but I thought Islam is dangerous. Because media always show the negative images about Islam. War, oppression, terrorism. So I also thought that they are dangerous and strict. A lot of time passed. Actually, I was a Catholic, but I didn't interest in any religion. I was just busy at living my life. But my bad thinking about Islam completely broke down one day in Indonesia. I debuted as a singer in Korea. I was not popular, but <laughs> still. And luckily, I got a chance to have a promotion in Jakarta. But I didn't know about Islam that time. So I even didn't know that there were so many Muslim people in Indonesia. I really didn't know that. Actually, two things made me so surprised. First, they were really kind than I expected. And second is that so many girls are covering their faces with bells. I didn't even know the word hijab. And you know, Indonesia is really hot country. So I was so curious. So I asked a girl who wear hijab, why are you wearing scarf on your face? Did someone force you? And he said, I'm a diamond. Incredibly precious. So. I don't want to show this to other people. Nobody forced me. This is my choice and I'm so proud of it. At the moment, I was really shocked. I thought that was oppression, but they were really proud of this. Yeah, it was really interesting. What made her so proud? At that time, I didn't know it was the face. I think Allah sent me a sign at this time, but I didn't notice. I came back to Korea, but my father lost his job suddenly, so I quit music and started work. I liked my job, but it was not easy because I wanted to do more creative things. So that's why I started YouTube. And I randomly talked about the memories about Muslim in Indonesia. And suddenly, so many people watched that video. And that was my second meeting with Islam. I didn't notice the first sign, but this time, it was different. It's related to my situation. Uh, okay, I'll tell you. I couldn't tell to anyone, but actually I was having a hard time because my goal of my life was music. But I should quit, so I lost my motivation of life. I wanted to go the next step, but I don't know how. I was totally lost. There was no peace in my mind. But surprisingly, at that time, it gave me a chance to meet Islam. Through this, I could meet many Muslims, the real Muslims not in the media. So I got along with them and found out what I didn't know about Islam. Why do they believe in Allah? Why do they pray? Why don't they eat pork? Why don't they drink? And what is halal and what is haram? And who is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Many things. I learned one by one and I found something really special I never felt before. Uh, it's very hard to explain, but I felt they have something that I'm missing because the way they treat their lives is definitely different from mine. I thought life is competition. And only surviving the competition is success. I thought I have to fight and win, but they were different. They always help others and they were always thankful for what was given for them. This impressed me a lot. The attitude of their life. My Muslim friend told me, life is a journey, not a competition. And the purpose of this journey is to go on the right path according to the God, Allah. The most glorified and the most high. If you follow Allah on the right path, there will be a great present at the end of this journey. Yeah, that's Jannah, the paradise. When I heard this, I felt like someone punched my face so hard. The belief that you're going to the right path, it touched and moved my heart. In the beginning and the end of this everything, there was Allah. This was the something I was looking for. So to know about this, I started to follow their practice. I read the Quran, studied about Muhammad, peace be upon him. I fasted for a month in Ramadan. I went to mosque and prayed. It happened in just a few months. As I experienced their practice little by little, my faith also grew up. The faith in Allah who created me and also 
guide me. The absolute, the most gracious and most merciful. And these things never happened in one time. I found it little by little. And the important thing is I found it myself. Nobody forced me. As I fasted, I found gratitude for Allah and I found that prayer to Allah would give me the peace of mind. So finally, I was sure about my belief. So I thought about becoming a Muslim. But nevertheless, I hesitated for a long time. There are reasons. Uh, many people told me that the pork and alcohol, but I didn't think it's not very difficult if I have faith. There were other reasons. First, can I overcome the prejudice of others as a Muslim? And second, am I perfectly prepared to be a Muslim? And also a position for my family. For me, it was a big problem and pressure. I pressed myself a lot. But after that, I thought like this. Why am I pressing myself? Islam is a religion that creates a relationship between me and Allah, not others. If Allah made a plan for me, only Allah can give me the answer. So I visited the mosque and asked him, what do I have to do? And surprisingly, my thoughts organized. I got the conclusion. I have faith and will to practice. So I don't need to hesitate anymore. I don't need to care other people's opinion because my life is mine, not others. My relationship with Allah is only mine. They can take the responsibility about my life, even my mom and dad. Oh, but of course I love mom and dad. And one more thing about the perfect preparation. There's no perfect human. There's no perfect thing except Allah. But can't be a Muslim because I'm afraid of the mistakes I'll make in the future. I think this is excuse for myself. Of course, I'll make a mistake because I'm not perfect. Already I had a lot of mistakes. But I believe he will lead me back in the right way. As he led me here, I'm in his plan. So I know he helps me. So that's why I decide and revert. That's my story. So now I'm doubt and I'm so proud of that. I was sailing alone on a small boat over a dark and huge sea. I was sinking without knowing where to go, but the merciful Allah recognized and signaled me. And fortunately, I noticed and catched it. And finally, I knew that following Allah is the purpose of this journey. So now I know where do I have to go. He gave me the light. And I believe that is the greatest blessings and gift in my life. So I'm like a baby Muslim who doesn't know anything well yet. But I will try to be a good Muslim, little by little. So nice to meet you, brothers and sisters. I'm so happy to meet you as a Muslim. Uh, I've talked a lot this word, but finally, I can tell you from my heart. Assalamu alaikum. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is messenger of Allah.